In 526 AD, the Roman city of Antioch was struck by a 7.0 magnitude earthquake that killed an estimated quarter of a million people or more. Ancient Antioch is now Antakya, Turkey, a city that was devastated by Monday's earthquake. The fact is that Turkey sits on top of an earthquake hotspot, and many of its major cities are built along fault lines. Now, of course, earthquakes are natural disasters, but when they are combined with man-made mistakes, they become truly devastating. One such devastating earthquake in 1999 led to more than 17,000 deaths and inspired the Turkish government to reform its building codes. Turkey also began to require mandatory earthquake insurance for all buildings. But a lack of oversight means that many buildings are not built to code. Others predate these rules. Corruption plays a big role as well. Builders often ignore these regulations to satiate Ankara's ambitions for fast development, all the while urban planners and architects sound warning bells about the country's lack of enforcement. In fact, President Erdogan's government has come under fire for granting construction amnesty for buildings that fail to meet required safety standards. Up to 75,000 buildings across Turkey's earthquake zone have been given some form of construction amnesty, according to one trade group cited by the BBC. The reality is that many deaths during this earthquake could have been prevented if lessons had been learned from past experiences. And for those trapped in northern Syria, a natural disaster in the midst of a lingering conflict has created another preventable and man-made humanitarian crisis. Even before the earthquake, the Middle East Institute estimates that 65% of basic infrastructure in the area was destroyed or damaged from the war. The international community was well aware of the vulnerability and desperation faced in the region after a dozen years of a brutal war. But few weighed the risks of such a powerful earthquake causing so much more suffering. The reality is there will be more earthquakes, more hurricanes, more pandemics. As Neil Ferguson writes in his book, Doom, The Politics of Catastrophe, history can sometimes seem like just one disaster after another. And before this earthquake struck, COVID-19 was the freshest disaster on our minds and the biggest of our lifetime. According to the International Federation of the Red Cross, no earthquake, drought or hurricane in recorded history has claimed more lives than the COVID-19 pandemic. Taiwan, South Korea and Singapore were all effective in their approach to the coronavirus in large part because they had learned from past experiences with other infectious diseases like SARS, MERS, and influenza. A catastrophe lays bare the societies and states that it strikes, Ferguson says in his book. It is a moment of truth, of revelation, exposing some as fragile, others as resilient, and others as anti-fragile, able not just to withstand disaster, but to be strengthened by it. So as we ask whether Turkey and Syria did enough to prepare for their next catastrophe, we should also ask, in the wake of COVID, whether we are prepared for our next one. Thanks to all of you for being part of my program this week. I will see you next week.